Hey friends, you are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are talking all about the offset tool. So this is the tool that's going to allow you to create a bubbling effect behind text and images and it's not only good for that bubble effect but this is the way you will knock text out of other things. So I'm going to show you how to create this effect, super simple by the way, and I'm going to show you how to then use your contour tool, use your slice tool, and cut this out of other things or knock it out of other things. Okay, so let's hop over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you what it's all about. If you've not already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. All right guys, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and you just want to open up a new canvas. So if you're on the home page, you hit the new button. If you're already in Cricut Design Space, up in the upper left hand corner, there's a new button. And then go into images and pick things that you want to work with. So for this project, what I did is I went into images and I searched for welcome. And so I got um, two sets of images that say welcome and then I also brought in text and typed out the word welcome and I also brought in a floral element so I can show you how to work with these as well and we'll go up here so offset is right here and we're gonna drop down and so as soon as I opened it up it's gone ahead and put um, the shadow or the offset behind it and so you can see here and you have two choices you have a rounded edge or you have a squared edge and so then we're going to select apply and so now as soon as you do that that offset is there super super simple right if you look over in layers you can click on that offset you can go up and change its color um, and so now you have two cuts so if you want to you can grab both of those using your shift key group them so now you can move it around and do anything you want to with that Okay, so we are making a doormat today. And so what I did is this is also a font that is, or, or not a font, an image in Cricut Design Space if you search for welcome. And I can actually just put the code down below for you. Um, but basically you can grab this and you don't have to worry with font. But if you want to create your own, you have a special font that you like to use, you could do that as well. So this is the same thing as before. We would offset that hit apply and then again you can look over and change that background to anything you want you could change the foreground you know to any color you want I mean, how fun is that right <laughs> and it's so simple there's like nothing to it so now this is a font that I like to use it's called black forest and so what I would need to do is close these in because I do want them to be touching um, and Black Forest is a tough one to work with and I chose it because I wanted to show you how to manage these tough fonts. So you would want to go up into letter spacing. I always take it down to zero first. It's still not quite there. So then we'll keep closing it in. And if you notice, my M just will not touch the zero. And so I don't want to get it any closer um, because then you'll start seeing the W overlap the E. So what you can do is you go in and you delete the ME and then you go into text and you type it again and then you just grab it and you do the same thing down to zero and then I believe we were at negative six and then you just move it over manually to touch now once you have those where you want them I'm gonna grab both of those and group them so that they stay together you don't have to worry about them moving now what you can do is go up into offset apply and so now we have this but if you look it's kind of chunky right and I would love for it to be a little skinnier so when you go back in if you noticed I'm just gonna delete that offset and we're gonna do that again if you click on it and you go into offset this right here you can make it as little as you want it to be so what if we took it down so see now it's like just barely around this and I want that because I want as much of the B to show as possible on the monogram. So when I'm putting this on my doormat, so now we select apply, isn't that great? Okay, so now in layers, we have an offset and we have the original text and you see they're in the three different pieces, right? Now I'm gonna take that and overlay it onto my B where I think I want that to be at. And I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so that's not overpowering. 
Okay, and you can obviously always use, so let's just grab all of those elements again and grab the B. And then you see up here in a line, center horizontally. And so that way you can make sure that you always have your lettering in the exact place. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we want to do is we can do it one of two ways. We can um, keep that background to the color that we want. And so this would actually be a layering. So we would have the full B and then we would have the outline and then we would have the lettering over top of it. You could um, also do it this way where we want to get rid of the blue. We don't really want the blue, but we want the word welcome to show on its own really well on top of the blue. So what, I mean, on top of the B. So what you can do is you can take the, let's ungroup it real quick. And so you can take that offset and select the B. And then what you could do is you can go and slice them. Okay, so now you're like, oh my goodness, what just happened? If you look over into layers and you click here, see that's our offset. If you look, you see these slice results. We're gonna delete that slice. We're gonna delete that slice. We're gonna delete that slice. And so now what was multiple pieces now becomes these three, because remember our ME is separate from our W-E-L-C-O, but now you can group those and they're one piece. And so now you have the word welcome over the B, but without the offset, so you've sliced it out. Isn't that fun? That is so fun. Okay, so, and then you can do these kinds of things with like these florals. So it's not quite the same always. Sometimes it's a little different. So let's do this really quickly. So we click on our flower, we go into offset, and I'm just going to make that a little bit more. The default is 25, by the way. Okay, and so now you see whenever you look at it, you can faintly see that there are some small spaces here. Let's just go ahead and hit apply. And then when you get this and you get your offset, click on the offset and use the contour tool to take that piece out. So now, when you look at that, that little element is not there. And so then you can go up into color and change it to anything you want. So what about other things, other things with sharp edges? So we want things that don't necessarily have a bubbling. So let's, for instance, let's go into images and grab a heart. And let's get one that's not a traditional shape, so this one. And so when you bring that heart in, you have curves and you have a point. So if we go into offset and so we have this curved corner selected, and so you see how it curves this bottom point, and you really wanted it to be a true outline, so then you could use your sharper edges, and so now you have the curved here, but you have that sharp point, and you can apply. Um, and then, of course, you can go into that offset and change that color to anything you want it to be. Okay, so to recap our offset tool, we're gonna be able to offset things, we're gonna be able to knock things out, we're gonna be able to create um, shapes curved and sharp around any image that we have in Cricut Design Space. So I hope that you found this new tool exciting and just a ton of things that you can do with it. And we will be definitely using it on this channel to make some really fun upcoming projects. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description down below and I'll do my very best to answer you. I want you to have fun in Cricut Design Space. I want you to enjoy your Cricut machine. And I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. See you guys next time.